What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and welcome back to the channel. Today is episode two in a series of videos about the Nest Hub Max. In the previous video, we did an unboxing of the Nest Hub Max and just talked about the basic features. If you are interested in watching the unboxing video of the Nest Hub Max, I'll provide a video card in the corner of this video. I'll also provide a link for that video in the description below. So in the last video, again, we just did the unboxing and went over the basic features of the Nest Hub Max. And today we're actually going to plug this in, boot it up and go over some more features but it's gonna be actually more on the software side. Now, because I have the Nest Hub Max, I'm gonna be putting that in the kitchen. We're gonna see that later in the video here. But because I'm putting this in the kitchen, I do have a Nest Hub, formerly known as the Google Home Hub. Try not to mix up the names. I've already been doing it enough. So I had that Nest Hub in the kitchen and I already moved that to the bathroom. And in the bathroom, I had an Amazon Echo Dot and I tucked that from that room and I put it in this room. And it's actually sitting on the table here. And then when we get to this, this is going to be in the kitchen. So we did have to do some rearranging in the lab here, as I call it. The whole fortress really is the lab. But everything is coming together. Now before we go ahead and plug in the Home Hub Max, we do need to go ahead and download the Google Home app. And that's actually required to set this up. Now the Google Home app can be found on the Google Play Store if you're using Android, or it can be found on the Apple App Store if you're using Apple. So once you go ahead and download that app, we can actually go ahead and get this running. Now because I have the Nest Hub, or again, the Google Home Hub, I already went ahead and downloaded the Google Home app. So with that being said, we can go ahead and set this up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we can go ahead and plug the power adapter right into the back of the unit. That'll go ahead and get it on and running automatically. Okay, so here we are. We have the Home Hub Max going, and we also have a screen recording in the corner of this video here. Now on the screen recording, I'm using the Google Home app, so we can go ahead and set up the Home Hub started. Max. Download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Now, as you can see, our device automatically shows up here on the Google Home app, and we can go ahead and click Setup. The next page is just going to tell us that the device was found, and it just wants us to verify that it's actually the device that we want to set up, so we're going to click Yes. Now, we do have the regular Google Improvement page, and I usually click Yes, I'm in, because I do want to help make the device better since I do use it. So we're going to go ahead and click Yes, I'm in. Now you can go ahead and choose a location for this device and since we're going to be putting this in the kitchen, we're going to click kitchen and then we're going to click next. Now the next page in the Google Home app is just showing us a little bit more information about what's going on when we're using the Nest Hub Max so we can go ahead and click next. Now this next page in the Google Home app is actually talking about the Google Nest Hub Max's camera. And you can see we have camera sensing, so that's going to be for features like face match and quick gestures. We can do video calls and messages. And then we have the built-in Nest Cam features, so that just allows us to take a look at our house while we're away. So we can go ahead and click next on that as well. Now here we are at the next page. Now again, this is the Nest Hub Max, so we've got quite a bit packed into here. So we're gonna have quite a few pages to go through here. And it's just asking us if we want to use the camera sense and features, which we do. So we'll click yes. Now we can also go ahead and activate voice match on this device. And this just allows the device to recognize our voice. So we can go ahead and click next again. Now in order to use voice match, we do have to agree to the voice match terms. And once we do, we can go ahead and click I agree. Now because I have voice match set up on several different devices already, I don't have to set it up here. Now here's a new feature I've never used, and this is face match, and because I've never used it, I'm assuming I'm going to have to go ahead and set it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the next button. Now again, just like voice match, we do have to agree to face match. We're gonna go ahead, click the down arrow here a few times, and then click I agree. So here we are in the app and I'm holding the phone to my face at eye level so that Google can get the information it needs to recognize my face. So we're going to go ahead and click start. And then we're going to turn the face. Okay, so that was pretty simple there. Now we can also allow personal results and we'll just click allow. We can also choose between voices. So we're going to play the sample for voice two. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. And then we're going to play the sample for voice one. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. 
Now, I already have voice two on my devices. Sounds very similar to that one. So we're gonna go ahead and stay with voice two and click next. Now on this next page here, we can go ahead and link our music services. Now, if we don't choose anything and we hit next, it's going to automatically default to YouTube music. Now for the time being, we can go ahead and click yes to default to that. Now we can go ahead and link video services as well, but I don't have any of these, so I'm just gonna click not now. Now this is a cool feature of the Google Home Hub Max. We can actually go ahead and control Chromecast devices. So you can see I already have one selected and I'm just gonna click next. Now this next page is going to ask us to rename our device and I'm just going to keep this simple and go with Kitchen Hub. Then we can go ahead and hit next. Now with this device, we can also go ahead and do video calls. So we're going to click more. Now this uses our Google Duo account. So we're going to click continue. Now there's an ambient mode on the Google Home Hub Max and basically it's just a slideshow of images. You can choose from your Google Photos or an art gallery. I like to just use an art gallery so we're just going to click that and then hit next. Now art galleries you can choose from are featured photos, fine art, earth and space, and street art. And my personal favorite is earth and space so we're going to click that and then hit next. Now if you're setting this up for the first time there is a page here that allows you to learn more about the controls on your Nest Hub Max and we can go ahead and click next. So this is going to tell us where our mic and camera switch are and also the camera. We can go ahead and hit next on that. We've got a volume rocker. You can see that shown here in this image. And now we just get a confirmation page just telling us that the kitchen display is ready for use and we can click continue. So we're pretty much done here and you can see on the Nest Hub Max we just have to click finish setup so we're going to touch that and that's going to complete the setup process. Welcome to your Google Nest Hub Max. Okay so that is pretty much it for the setup for the Nest Hub Max. There is a lot of stuff going into this and I was actually going to add more into this video alone. But there's so much that this video is already getting kind of long and I need to make an additional video for just actually using the thing. But I'm very excited. We have this nice interface. It's very similar to the Nest Hub, but we have extra features piled on top of that. There are little things I've already noticed, such as the camera being able to just recognize me. I walk up and it shows my avatar from my Google account. It just knows that it's me, that is cool. I went ahead and I tried some music on this. It is definitely an upgrade from the Nest Hub. You've got more bass, the speakers are louder. It's just an overall better experience. Then you've got the voice of the Nest Hub and it does sound more robotic, but more futuristic. And personally, I love that. I'm a big fan of Jarvis from Iron Man. So I love anything that kind of sounds more artificially intelligent and not more like a human. The display on this is also very nice. It's probably very similar to the Nest Hub, but bigger. But overall, I'm very excited to use this. I love the extra features. I still have to actually set up the Nest Cam here so I can actually view my apartment when I'm at work, which I'm kind of disappointed, didn't get to it tonight. Would love to be able to spy on my dog when I'm not here. And then in the next video, I do want to talk about more how to navigate on this, how to do some home control things, just show the extra features. But I definitely will be using this for music. That's what I use the Nest Hub for the most. I love asking questions and getting answers. I love using it to practice my Spanish. I'm always trying to get better at that. So this thing is definitely a must have in the modern futuristic apartment, house, dorm, wherever you may live. So that is pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed and found it useful, make sure to leave a like. Also, if you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below. I'll do my best to answer them, and I may even include them in the next video. And I know we're going to have at least another additional video because, again, we didn't touch on all the features here. This was basically just the setup and just seeing more of the software features, but not actually using them. Now, there are two ways to support the channel. You can share this video with someone who might find it useful, or you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So until next time... Leon, check in out.